Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another rugby reaction. Today we're going to be checking out the most brutal red cards in rugby from Die Hard Rugby. Um, and make sure to drop this guy a sub, he does a ton of videos. Um, I think I've actually do a few of them, but a few of them I had some issues with copyright, so I didn't end up uploading them. But yeah, we, we figured that out, I believe, so we'll we'll check out a bunch more of his stuff, because he seems to be he seems to be the go-to guy for, for rugby stuff. Um, yeah, so we will hop into it in a second. I um, just want to say thanks to you guys for subbing to the channel. We just hit 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I yeah, I've said that a bunch, but I've, every time I hit a milestone, it's like what the hell? I can't believe, uh, can't believe we're here. So yeah, it's been awesome. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. So this should be really fun. I, I think I've done. Have I? I definitely have done like a big big tackles video, a few of them. I don't know if I've done it specifically about red red cards though. So this should be really exciting. Uh, I'm excited some brutal some brutal stuff going on here. All right, here we go. Oh, we got clotheslined. I've definitely seen a few clotheslines in in some of these videos we've done. Red card, yeah. What teams are these? So Lions and Armour 2. This is, this is top 14, right? Jeez, that was like an elbow right to the face. Yeah, ooh, forearm right to the chin. Okay. Oh, that guy's knocked out. Oh, he's like saying he's an accident. He's completely knocked out. Springbox all blocks, okay. Let's see this. Oh man! Oh, hit right to the head. So it is a red card. The red card against the guy that. Interesting. Oh, okay, that is like. I know that's like super no-no. Tackling when a guy kicks it isn't that like really bad? Like, yeah, like that guy must have got suspended a long time, right? I feel like it's yeah, it's pretty like clear rule in rugby right that's you can't like hit the guy as he's kicking it or after he kicks it it's like super normal even if you like barely touch him it's like a, a penalty so that was brutal oh that's a punch that's a sucker punch yeah right there yeah that was what is he doing yeah, he's gone. Oh man, I didn't see that. Or is that something after? Oh yeah, I guess he caught him a bit. Caught him in the in the chin. That was a massive collision. That's the type of hit that I guess like I don't know how long ago, 10, 10 20 years ago, that would have been like a legal hit, right? But now because there's like the the the, the headshot rules and stuff are like a lot more strict you can't like make contact so that's probably why that was a a red i'd assume but let me know oh man jeez i actually don't totally know the rules on the the mid-air stuff yeah like, let me watch this again sorry like okay so, so they kicked it to to the other team right so then this guy like, why is this guy at fault for this guy getting hit when he's the one that's to catch the ball? Like, is there... Yeah, like, he jumps in to catch it, and this guy just runs into him. I don't know. I, let me know the rule on that. That's definitely something I've been a bit confused on in my rugby reactions um, and, like, the games I've watched. Yeah, so let me know the rules on this exactly. Or maybe I can... No, I, mean, I can just look him up right now, I guess, actually. You guys, you guys like when I do that. So let me, let me look that up. Um, what do I even look for that? Rugby rules midair. Someone's definitely explained this for me, but explain this to me before. Uh, actually, here's a Reddit thread. Okay, this is one for a player must not tackle, charge, pull, push, or grasp an opponent whose feet are off of the ground. Oh, okay. I'm I'm so dumb. This entire time, okay. This entire time, it was it was the other guy. I thought the white player, the the white jersey player, was the one that got the penalty, not the. Uh, <laughs> not that not the black jersey okay so i that was yeah oh i, I, I just i just spent like five minutes looking at rules i'll edit all that out because that was completely wrong um yeah okay i got it so yeah the 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 guy in the air can't get tackled all right this mall is what's going on here a big meat full of 
Swain's luscious locks. Oh, he pulled his hair. Gets a touch scrappy on the other side. <laughs> Don't punch him. Don't punch him. Was that the red card? A headbutt? Huh, that didn't seem like it was much at all. Here. Oh! <laughs> Just spears him out of nowhere. Scotland, France. At the beginning, at the beginning, and this player here has now used his fist. Listen, has used his fist to strike another player in the face. It is direct contact with force. It is a red card. It is a red card. Oh, uh yeah, I didn't even see the punch. Where's the punch? Where was the punch? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, okay. Three is the one that punched him. I thought it was the penalty was the guy like the hit him after. Okay. A lot of pausing this reaction. Sorry, guys. I'm missing some of the stuff. So. Let's see this. Oh yeah, can't do that. Can't do that. Super dangerous tackle doing that. Oh, oh, I didn't even see the way his body bent. That's like, you could break your neck doing that. Holy. Yeah, that was brutal. Oh, big elbow to the head. France Wales. Oh, this is World Cup too. Red card. What a time up there. Oh. Ooh, yeah, head on head. I think it's the penalty, right? Head on head, right? Yeah, head right into his head. I don't think he meant to do that though, but I guess that's the rule. Oh, that was I hit. Brutal. What happened to that guy? Why'd the tackler just fall over? Yeah, why'd the player in black? I've seen some people do that in hockey where they make they make a bad hit and then they pretend they're hurt as well to like make it not look as bad. Must be what happened there. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. They just say Canada? Carton rouge pour l'Elie Argentin de Soyon Angoulême, il le sait, Lucas Canada. Yeah, they said Canada there. Let me know what team that was. I thought it was that wouldn't be Canada, right? The jerseys wouldn't be purple for Canada. But. Oh, big elbow to the head, yeah. Jeez. Oh that is not good. It's not the carrying arm. Yeah. Oh, it's not the carrying arm. Okay, that's a rule? I didn't know that. Two oh it's two one of the two alongies. I gotta react to more of them. I, I've, I think I've just reacted to the youngest. Oh, he's he's knocked out. He's knocked out. Uh, let's, let's see. Oh, was that face to face? Sheesh. Yeah, he's he's. You can see his eyes glaze over there. Pressure that came on and the, the weight and impact of the yep. replacement yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. That's a few okay, that's a few of them I've seen now. I didn't realize you couldn't um I definitely seen players in rugby when they're running with the ball they like they push a guy in front of them. But I didn't realize it had to be with the the, the arm the or the, the side of the ball's on, right? So you'd go like this kinda, I guess is what they usually do, but you can't like use your other hand, I guess, for for high stuff at least, maybe? I'm not sure exactly, but I mean how that works specifically, but yeah, you obviously can't like elbow or forearm guys in the face. Ooh. Oh yeah, can't do that. Can't do that. Two reds? Jeez. Double send off? Oh! What is that? What the hell was that? Bro, what was that? That was one of the most... What was he trying to do? Oh, that guy's knocked out. His mouth guard came out. 
very quickly in Northampton looking to turn this ball over. Looks like they just Jeez. What happened? Oh, head on head, okay. You have time to adjust your position. It's a red card. Alright. Is it right? Oh, yeah, a little jumping shoulder to the head. It's a red card for me. Yeah, it's crazy. Elliot D was locked over it. There goes Marcus Kremer. Sort of watching here. Can't, ooh, he shoved him and then got him in a chokehold. Yeah, that's a red. That's a red. This isn't the UFC, buddy. How has he not stopped yet? What the hell? What a psycho. Yeah, he just he just kept doing it. Yeah, I do think the Argentinian player did do something there that deserved a penalty though. Like that was dirty too, but you can't just choke a guy. Oh, that was a chicken wing. That's a hit. That's something you see in hockey. So they just go like that, get clip a guy in the head. Actually, no, that was a forearm. Okay. Whales and Falcons. The team is the Falcons. Let me know who the Falcons are. Jeez. All right. Oh, Springbok. I'm, I'm going to react to this one uh, shortly as well. Springbok's All Blacks uh, build up. Anyways, great video. Uh, let's take a look at the comments. I've started, started to do that more with my reactions. I'll look at the comments afterwards. So let's see. Um, if somebody watches more football, soccer for the Americans, thank you, thank you. I love how the referees are completely visible in the communication of what the player has done. I would love to see that being adapted to the football world. Yeah, same here. I really wish the uh, – I, I love that. I've seen that in, in, yeah, in, in rugby and rugby league. They do that with uh, – the, the the ref is like mic'd up for everyone to hear, and, and he tells them exactly what they've done. Sometimes in hockey they do that. The ref will be mic'd up, or you'll hear him like – there's a mic nearby so you can hear him, what he says, but – It'd be cool if that was like standardized across most sports. Um, yeah, it chokes the living daylights out of the bloke in front of the ref and seems absolutely baffled why he's red guarded. Yeah, that one was really weird. That one was like the guy went like psychopath mode. Referee giving it unconscious South African player red card is always hilarious to me. Concussed? Yeah, <laughs> we'll go have a rest then. <laughs> yeah. What I love is that when referee players get cards and argue, they just walk off. Yeah. I've definitely seen some rugby guys get pissed off at those, but um, yeah, like in, in rugby league, in the in the for any any of you guys that are watching this that are NRL fans as well, pr probably not many of you are, are, but um, in the state of origin that they do, there was a crazy send off. Um, I guess it was kind of controversial, but the couple of the the, the team captain stuff when when the ref said it was a send off, they were like losing their mind, freaking out about it. So I would, don't totally agree with this, but obviously, yeah, like soccer, soccer players are definitely. Uh, I think that's a pretty known stereotype that soccer players are a little, a uh, little bit of a crybaby uh, situation when they get carded. This video is a lot better than cricket's most violent moments. <laughs> All right, yeah. So we will wrap it up there. Um, I'm definitely gonna do more videos from this channel, Die Hard Rugby. Um, I yeah, I mentioned in the intro. I had a bunch of copyright issues with this channel because they use music that is like a like a paid subscription service for the music so it wasn't letting me like upload the videos because of that but um i, I sorted that out so we're definitely gonna check take a look at a lot of these because these this is obviously like probably the best uh the best channel around for this type of stuff so we'll, we'll get through a bunch of these in the next uh coming weeks months um but yeah make sure to go sub to them sub to them i'm sure i'm sure most of you are but make, if you're not go sub to them like all their videos and all that stuff um yeah yeah we're up there thanks for watching